Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about why diabetics usually need additional medication over time. Okay, first of all, what is diabetes? It's a problem with high sugar, okay? So the body has high sugar from eating a lot of carbohydrates. So the purpose of the medication is to lower the blood sugar. So it removes the sugar. But diabetes medication does not lower the body sugar only the blood sugar. So the sugar in your body is still there, it's just not in the blood. So the medication keeps cramming and stuffing the sugar in different places. It's very similar to in your house if you have dirty dishes and you don't wash them. You keep sticking them underneath the cupboard, uh, in the pantry, in the suitcase, until finally everything kind of starts becoming a problem. And usually the uh, medication can uh, gets the sugar out and it's converted into fat. Um, so the fat cells start getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. They start spreading into the liver, around the organs, in the pancreas, in the brain, excessive fat around the kidneys, and many other organs. So diabetes type 2 is a diet problem, okay? And that's why taking drugs will never fix it because it's a diet problem. We don't want to add more carbohydrate. So the medication basically hides the real problem, continues the problem. So eventually you're going to have more complications with the high sugar and you're going to need more powerful medication to keep the blood sugar down, more insulin, for example. And then you're going to have side effects from the medication. And then you can have other complications from high sugar, like high cholesterol, vision problems, which would be put on medication. So then you can have side effects from those medications. For example, some people have a bladder problem at night. Well, there's another medication from that, which causes another problem. So the chain reaction goes on and on and on and on. So if this is the first time you're hearing this concept and you're a diabetic, um, I highly suggest that you take my little mini course down below. It's how to do keto healthily with intermittent fasting. This will shed some light on the exact diet you need to be on to help support healthy blood sugars. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, I appreciate your attention. And if you're enjoying these videos, Go ahead and subscribe and I will definitely keep you updated on future events, live events, and webinars that we're going to do very soon.